Hallelujah. We thank God thus far. Thank God this recording is for Friday. And I guess that the Lord has been gracious to us. Thank God it's Friday. My prayer for you that today as you go out, whatever is left undone this week, may God give you speed. May God help you. May God raise help for you. May God open the gates of support. And may God open the gate of performance for you and for me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And remember, the test is Matthew 7, 7 and 8, and the topic is the gate. So, we want to read the test from New Year International Version. The scripture says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, you will find. Knock, and the door will be open for you. For who ask receives, and the one who seek finds, the one who knocks the door will be opened. Now you notice that when they say everyone who ask, but by the time they come to uh, the seek and the knock, they make it like an individual. So there are things you can do generally, and there are things you must go all the way for to do. The scripture said to us in Revelation chapter 3, 19 and 20, Jesus was not talking to everybody. He said, I correct and punish the people I love. So show, so show, show that nothing is more important to you than living right. Change your heart and, be, and, and lives. Here I am. I stand at the door. If you hear my voice and open the door i will come in and eat with you and you will eat with me so there's something about you and your life number one let me tell you you are the real decision maker of your life it doesn't matter the decision made around you you are the one that will choose for a bit for this time if they say there's a coffee and you decide to say, no, I'm not going to stay in, though I'm going to go out. Of course, there'll be consequences. And also, if they say, oh, nobody should um, eat today, there's a fast. And you say, no, 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 I can't fast, I will eat. It's still your decision. But the consequences also will be yours. So Jesus is saying that Jesus, could, Jesus does not need the door to enter your life. But he's asking for your permission to enter your life. Because when he comes in, certain things must leave. And that's why you must, end, must give him the control. And that is why you must give your life to Jesus. Submit to his lordship. Ask him for forgiveness. Accept his lordship so that the provision of salvation he has made, the death on the cross, his burial and resurrection, and the total work of deliverance that he has done can be your portion. There are so many things going out in the world today. There are so many engagements. Look at the Rechabite. If a Rechabite become a Christian, you can imagine he will be delivered from the cause of, of poverty. You can imagine if Lot had been a wise guy and he chose not to go out away from Abraham. Yo, Abraham might be feeling the pain, but Lot will be better off for it. You can imagine if um, uh, Jacob just left there, know that God is there, and just walk away without any reverence for God and the event that has happened, he will not be the Jacob we are talking about today. Sir, you are the one that must open the door. If they shut the gate of your life, it takes your action or inaction to know what to do. It is your action to do something that will open the gate. Your inaction will keep you perpetually in bondage. Don't have the decision. I conclude by reading this to you from Isaiah chapter 1, 19 and 20. He said, if you listen to what I say, you will get good things from this land. But if you refuse to listen, you refuse and rebel against me, your enemies will destroy you. The Lord himself said this. So it doesn't matter who shut the gate. If you can connect with Jesus, you will have your way out. God bless you. Thank you.